Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a shopping haul. So hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please click like, comment and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Oh, that was so cringe. Awesome. But it would be awesome if you would subscribe. Okay, right, I'm in a really weird mood. Sorry about that in advance. Um, so yeah, me and Nathan had to go out this morning because I had to go to the post office to post some eBay stuff. Also, my mum needed some bits and pieces. We needed some bits and pieces. So um, yeah, this is basically going to be a little shopping haul. I haven't got loads to show you, but I've got a few things that I can show you. I know a lot of you like watching the shopping haul videos. And you know what? I quite like doing them. So without further ado, I'm going to shut up and get on with this. All right, because I'm rambling. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I want to show you. Oh, so exciting. It is a box of tissues, uh, Sainsbury's tissues, super soft, pure white. Um, yeah, <laughs> you can't really get excited about tissues, but, uh, you know, we always need them, especially at the moment. Hay fever is just awful. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you also get hay fever. Uh, it kind of sucks, right? Um, itchy nose, itchy eyes, sore throat, everything, sneezing. So tissues are a must right now okay uh, next up now these aren't for me even though i probably have quite a lot of fun with them but they're not for me uh, these are for the neighbors next door's uh, little children they've got a little boy and a little girl and they're both like really adorable children and uh, whenever they see me they go laura hello laura that was my voice as a child trying to sound like a child it just sounded odd but you get me what i was trying to do there um but yeah so i, I picked up just a couple of little things in poundland because they're so cute um i got hooker shock <laughs> um and hook a unicorn so uh, you know I, I they might not even want these they might think mm, but they might really enjoy them so um yeah we're gonna hand them over the fence in a little while but i wanted to show them in the video um it kind of reminded me of hook a duck when i was a kid i used to love hook a duck but this is hook a unicorn and hook uh, hook the shark so uh i feel really sorry for kids you know obviously i feel sorry for everyone but kids are just kind of like stuck in at the moment on the lockdown thing and um like them kids next door normally go to like nursery and stuff and they can't and you know i just yeah it's just a little gift to cheer them up i don't know um so people think i'm a cold nasty person but in actual fact i'm quite a sweet kind person as well um as well okay next up gaviscon um this stuff is a miracle for me when i get heartburn indigestion this stuff sorts me right out um i i hate i hate when i get indigestion it's like a burning chest feeling in the throat in the chest sometimes in my back as well um and it's just a horrible feeling it really is if you get indigestion you know and to be fair some of the times most of the times i get um indigestion it's normally my own fault I either eat too much dairy um, or I eat too late or I'll eat quite late and uh, then lay down like, on the sofa or something. And it just, I don't know, it interferes with me. It makes me a bit, Ugh. so uh, Gaviscon, I literally have a spoonful of this and uh, it cures it. It's brilliant. This is the original aniseed flavor. I think there's like other flavors of Gaviscon, but I don't like them. I only have the aniseed. Anyway, moving on. HP sauce. Woohoo. Um, now, anyone who says this is not an essential item, you're wrong. HP sauce is essential, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the original HP sauce, this is from Poundland. Uh, I love HP sauce. Oh, I do. Uh, especially on toast. I've said this before uh, in a previous video, but I like to get some toast, um, a little dollop, <laughs> a little dollop of HP sauce. You dip your toast in. Nom, nom, nom. It's delicious. Um, oh, look, there's big, uh, big Ben there on the front. Big Ben. Anyway, just randomly say that. Okay, so that's that. Uh, also, fairy washing up liquid in a lemon scent. Um, we have got a dishwasher, but we do sometimes do washing up at the sink as well because what we find with the um, with the dishwasher is most of the stuff it cleans really well, but some of the stuff that you put in the dishwasher, you take it out. Uh, ready to put away and there's still little bits on there that just not it's normally me to be honest where I've not scraped my plate properly uh, or I've had like a bowl of wheat bix and the wheat bix is all kind of stuck around the bowl so what I'm going to start doing is is really kind of washing up a little bit first and then putting those kind of things in the dishwasher um plus it's nice just to have some fairy you know washing up liquid you never know when you're gonna need it it's an essential item <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, next up, um, this is for my mum. Um, I use uh, Schwarzkopf Bliss sh uh, shampoo and conditioners and stuff, but she asked me to get her a conditioner, and she's like, I don't like the one you use, I don't like the smell of it, I don't like it, uh, can you look for Dove? I was like, okay. Uh, she doesn't talk like that, but that's my impression of her, and that's that's that. Um, but yeah, this is, um, this. I think this was £2 from Poundland, um, but it's the Intensive Repair Conditioner for Damaged Hair from Dove, so it's a bit kind of, you know, special specialised conditioner. Uh, for mummy, well, what else have I got? Oh, um, yeah, these these were needed so bad. Toenail clippers, well, fingernails, toenails. Um, these are great from Poundland because you get, for a pound, you get three of them. You get the big boy, big boy, big boy, and you get the two little ones as well. So, um, yeah, that's that's a bargain. A pound for three. Woohoo! All right, next up, sellotape. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, man. Um, yeah, this is the uh, original sellotape. Now, I have tried other, like, cheapy brands of sellotape, and they just, they, to me, they're just not very good. They don't stick, uh, which is what it's supposed to do, stick. Uh, so uh, I always stick to, stick to, um, I always go with the uh, original sellotape, uh, sellotape, and uh, it's good. It's, it's very good, and I use it when I'm doing my eBay stuff, if I'm, like, you know, sticking down the packages, um, arts and crafts as well, so... Yeah. So yeah, sellotape. Next up, coffee. Do you want a coffee? <laughs> so um, this is my new favourite coffee. Uh, obviously because of the lockdown, there's no Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, no, but I'm really upset. I, re I really miss my Starbucks. Like I know that sounds really snobby, stuck up, pathetic. Maybe it is. But I just really miss the taste of the skinny latte sugar-free vanilla Ah, um, but in between, while well, the shop's obviously not open, uh, these have become my little kind of go-to coffee. They're just instant coffee. They're the ne uh, Nescafe Cafe Menu Cappuccino. That's a mouthful. Um, but they're really nice. You just literally, uh, 20 seconds to make one of these, and uh, they're lovely. But make sure you give them a good stir, because if you don't stir it properly, you can get all the little bits. So as, as long as you put your hot water in from the kettle, obviously, and then just give it a good mix, then it's perfect. Um, but yeah, make sure you give it a good stir. I have been called a stirrer a few times in my life. <laughs> mm. All right, okay, next up, shampoo and conditioner. This is the one my mum says, I don't like that one, I don't like the smell of it. Well, I like the smell of it, and it actually makes my hair really soft, shiny-ish, um, and I, I just love it. I love Gliss. Uh, so I've got the uh, conditioner here. This is the liquid silk conditioner uh, for brittle, dull, hair um i might be a lot of things but i'm definitely not dull however my hair is a bit my hair is a bit dull um so this gives it a bit of a bit of an oomph a bit of a boost and this is the uh, shampoo supreme length hair repair and uh this is good for long hair which is prone to damage greasy roots um if i don't wash my hair every day it gets greasy i know people say you shouldn't you shouldn't wash your hair every day it's not good for the natural oils Maybe that's true, but for my my thing, um, you know, if I don't wash my hair every day, it just looks awful, it feels awful, and it is greasy. So I do have to wash it every day. There we go. So that is my shampoo and conditioner. Okay, next up, Lemsip Max. Um, this is the lemon flavour, my favourite flavour of Lemsip. Not, not like it's a really lovely drink or anything, but if you're going to have Lemsip, I'd rather have a, have a taste that's nice, you know. I don't like the black currant. I have got the black currant because at the po point when I went out a few weeks ago, that's all I had, and I was like, I need lemon sip. Black currant have to be. But now they're starting to get the lemon black black. What's all? They're starting to get the lemon back. There we go. Um, so I got it basically. And a normal lemon sip's okay, but I find um, lemon sip max is just that bit stronger. Um, it helps with fever, headaches, body aches, blocked nose, sore throat, and it contains paracetamol. Um, so there we go. Right, next up, I'm a fatty, I'm a fatty, boom, boom. <laughs> I'm getting in there before any troll says, call you fatty, getting all that chocolate, that ain't essential. Well, you know what, it is an essential. If you're a chubby girl like me, you're stuck in the house, you want chocolate, you need chocolate. If I don't have chocolate, <laughs> yeah, so it's essential. Um, mini rolls. 
Um, I absolutely love these uh, Cadbury's, <laughs> Cadbury's mini rolls, milk chocolate. Uh, it says here, mini rolls with a big personality, which I think you'll agree I've definitely got. <laughs> um, and a bit of arrogance with that as well. But no, these are lovely and they're really expensive everywhere. It's like three, three pounds. Um, but you go to uh, Poundland and you get all these for a pound. So I thought, well, might as well get two packs. Obviously, I'm not going to eat them all in one day. Uh, they just sit in the cupboard. I have one a day um, and they're just, they're, you know, they're nice. They make you smile. They're chocolate. Anyway, uh, moving on. I've got a few. Moving on. Right. Got some Got some greeting cards now. I did say I was in a weird mood. Sorry. Look, hopefully I'm making people smile anyway in this video. Either that or really annoying you. It could go either way. Um, so obviously my mum can't get out. She's over 70 and stuff like that. So she's not allowed out. Um, so if she needs anything, I have to get it for her and stuff. But, um, or she gets it delivered online. But she needed some greeting cards. So... Uh, my mum normally gets, when she gets people greeting cards, like for their birthday and stuff, she normally gets those kind of rude, dirty, dirty, dirty cards, because that's her sense of humour. Um, but obviously she can't get out. There's no card shops open. I did say that she should try looking on eBay or something, you know, for some cards, but she, she doesn't want to waste time doing that. So she was like, look, Laura, when you go to Poundland, just pick us up some cards. Make sure they're funny. Well, not being funny, you don't get much choice in Poundland for cards. There's there's lots of cards, but they're not they're not dirty, filthy cards like she would normally buy in a you know card factory, etc. So I did the best I could for the cards that she wanted, and I, and I haven't shown her these yet, so I can predict she's going to be like, oh, that's not the sort of cards I wanted. I wanted the funny one. That's not funny. It's all you could get. It's all we could get. Times are tough right now. So, first of all, she needed this one for my cousin. Um, it's his birthday soon. So, I just got nephew, it's your birthday. Because obviously not from me, it's going to be from her. So, it's her nephew. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I just got that. Um, I didn't actually get my cousin card. I just remembered. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, oh, she, she can put my name on it. It's fine. But, yeah. So, she got, the, uh, <laughs> she got that one. Um, and also, this is for her friend. Linda, it's her friend Linda's birthday, and I thought this was quite nice. I, you know, you don't always have to have the rude, you know, funny ones, do you? I think this is really sparkly. It's a three D card. Um, I just love that card. It's so pretty. Yeah. And um, <laughs> this oh, <laughs> okay, this is really weird. This is for my dad. Uh, from my mum. Yeah, it's my dad's birthday really soon. Bless him. And uh, she, 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 she said to get my dad a funny card. This is funny. It's a pug dog in a cowboy hat. I mean, I bet you, yeah, you, yes, you, watching, are finding this funny. Look at this image and tell me it's not funny. Go on. I bet you're laughing at that. Unless you're a troll, then you're not going to laugh at anything I ever say. But if you're not a troll, you'll find this funny. Um, I don't know if my mum's going to be happy with this card that I chose for her, but... Uh, there we go. And for my dad, for myself, um, normally I get him a dad card, but I saw this and I got this one uh, because it's it's a monkey in, a, <laughs> in an astronaut outfit uh, because my dad is fascinated with like space and stuff like that. And I thought it was really funny. Plus, trying to get a bargain two for one, you know. So there we go. OK, moving on. Obersoil. Um, this is for me. I have, as I say, every time you're really bored of hearing it, bad hay fever. <laughs> but hay fever sucks. Um, but this stuff really does help me. Uh, it clears my, my nasal passage a bit. Is that what you call it? A nasal passage? I don't know. Um, yeah, it clears my, my breathing a bit as well. So um, it's good. Blo yeah, look, it even says on it for blocked sinuses. Uh, and I, I just really love the smell of it. Obersol is such a, a lovely kind of smell. I think. All right. Okay. Moving on. Um, I've got this hygiene hand gel, Derma Intensive. Um, when I go out, I'm like continuously uh, washing my hands with the anti-back gel that I keep in my handbag. Obviously, I, I always wash my hands when I'm home. But when I'm out and about, I get really super paranoid. So I'm like, you know, when I'm out. But um, I juiced up the one I had. So I needed a new one. And they're so hard to find at the moment, obviously. But I found this in Boots right near the counter. Uh, it says helps fight bacteria and germs. Um, yeah, clean hands, no soap, no water. So yeah, I don't know how much that was. I think it was like one fifty or something. But I'll just keep that in my bag. Uh, got some deodorant. 
yes this is an essential thing trolls out there moaning at me um because i don't want my armpits to whiff all right it's an essential thing uh, soft and gentle fresh blossom with uh wild rose and vanilla lovely and uh, what else we got oh these are for my mum she wanted these little sandwich bags even though it says 60 children's sandwich bags they're in fact for my mum uh, she does this when she gets um bread <laughs> this is a really boring story sorry she gets bread delivered and uh, she gets like loaves of bread and then she she kind of puts them in bags and yeah it's getting really boring so i won't go into it but she wanted some sandwich bags it's, it's, it's the long and short of the story um so she's happy i've got some more paracetamol because i i just always need paracetamol um and the last thing i got isn't f isn't for me it's for ebay i know everyone's gonna be like you shouldn't be buying stuff to sell on ebay but i have all right so there we go um i saw this on um i'm in the poundland appreciation group on facebook oh yes i'm a fully fledged member um now it's a cool little group actually and people post things like pictures and stuff about well pound land stuff they've bought there um a pretty friendly bunch you know i've put pictures on there before of stuff that i've got and people comment and you know someone will ask well where do you get you know this and has your branch got that and anyway so i'm in this facebook group and uh um someone i don't know it was randomly but uh, they put a picture of one of these up and uh it's an outdoor wine and glass holder Holds standard bottle of wine and two glasses, ideal for in the garden or on the beach. Um, and I just thought, oh, and, and the amount of people reacting, they really like this and, and commenting. And I thought, hmm, if I ever see that when I go into Poundland next, I'm going to get one for eBay. Um, and so I did. Really, coming to think of it, I should have got another one because um, my best mate loves drinking wine. And she always sits in her garden. Maybe if I go the next time, I'll pick her one up for Christmas or something. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? So you literally, you've got a little spike there, so you, you know, put it into the grass, and you can just put your, your bottle and your, and your uh, glasses either side. I think it's pretty cool. It's no good for me, because I don't drink wine, clearly, but if you do. Uh, so this will be, oh, <laughs> this will be on my eBay. I'm going to be selling this, okay? So if you do want it, look out for it, because it will be on my eBay. So there we go. Oh, I've got one last thing to show you. One last thing to show you what can it be i shouldn't be seeing because i've got a sore throat but there we go um, now this uh, isn't for me i'm actually giving this away uh, on my instagram so i like i like doing these little kind of contests sometimes i'm just trying to fold it over a little bit here um i like doing contests and giveaway giveaways because it's just nice especially at the moment if you know people are feeling a bit down and stuff it might cheer them up i don't know um and it's just a way for me to say thank you to you know my viewers and stuff you know give them giving them little prizes you know the prizes that i give away are never particularly amazing but they're thoughtful they're just little bits and pieces so um i picked this up and it's a selfie queen um tote bag how cool is it? I really like the colour of it as well. It's got all stars over it and stuff. Uh, kind of like a holographic. Is it holographic? Yeah. Kind of colouring. Um, yeah, selfie queen. So I'm, I'm doing this as I say as a giveaway on my Instagram. If you're not on my Instagram, why are you not following me? Come follow me on Instagram. Come on. Come on, uh, Minxlaw123 on Instagram, press follow button, um, because all right, you might be too late for this, obviously, but um, I, as I say, regularly, I, I, I do little giveaways and stuff like that, so yeah, <laughs> so yeah, also go and follow me on Twitter as well, at Minxlaw123, I don't really do giveaways on Twitter, I just ramble, rant and uh, share cute animal photos and stuff, I don't know, um, but yeah, come follow me on Twitter as well. <sighs> so i can breathe now that is the end of the video thank you for watching and please click like comment subscribe to my channel and uh keep positive keep healthy look after yourselves and those around you uh, don't forget to check out my other channel links laura 123 asmr on that channel i make videos to help people with anxiety insomnia um and even though i'm quite loud and boisterous uh, believe it or not i do suffer from anxiety um, and i make videos on my other channel to you know help people like me people who do have anxiety um people who can't sleep through insomnia and stuff so go check out my other channel i'm a lot quieter ish no i'm a lot quieter and calmer on my other channel on this channel a bit um 
but I like that. I like the fact that on this channel I can be quite loud and do whatever. And on that channel I'm more kind of subdued and relaxed and, and quiet. So um, you'll see different sides of me. So go check out Minx Law 123 ASMR, uh, my other channel. Link's down below. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to smash the notification bell. You can see when I've uploaded videos, doing live streams, etc., etc. All right, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.